to investigate high conformality on target coverage and the ability on creating strict lung dose limitation of intensity modulated radiation therapy in malignant pleural mesothelioma. Patients and Methods 24 radiation therapy plannings were evaluated and compared with dosimetric outcomes of conformal radiation therapy and intensity modulated radiation therapy. Hemetherical radiation therapy was performed on 12 patients with a fraction of 1.8 grays to a total dose of 50.4 grays. All organs at risk or contoured. Radiotherapy plannings were differed according to the technique. Conformal radiation therapy was planned with conventionally combined photon electron fields, and intensity modulated radiation therapy was planned with 7 to 9 radiation beam angles optimized in inverse planning. Strict dose volume constraints were applied. Results Intensity modulated radiation therapy was statistically superior in target coverage and dose homogeneity. Intensity modulated radiation therapy planning target volume 95 mean 100%, three dimensional conformal radiation therapy planning target volume 95 mean 71.29%, p equals 0 0.0001. Intensity modulated radiation therapy planning target volume 105 mean 11.14%, three-dimensional conformal radiation therapy planning target volume 105 mean 35.69%, p equals 0 0.001. The dosimetric results of the remaining lung was below the limitations on intensity modulated radiation therapy planning data. Intensity modulated radiation therapy lung mean dose mean 7.5, range, 5.6% to 8.5%, intensity modulated radiation therapy lung V5 mean 55.55%, range, 47% to 59.9%, intensity modulated radiation therapy lung V20 mean 4.5%, range half a percent to 9.5 percent, intensity modulated radiation therapy lung V13 mean 13.43 percent, range, 4.2 percent to 22.9 percent. Conclusion With a complex and large target volume of malignant pleural mesothelioma, intensity modulated radiation therapy has the ability to deliver efficient tumor acidal radiation dose within the safe dose limits of the remaining lung tissue. Keywords IMRT, 3D CRT, Mesothelioma Introduction Malignant pleural mesothelioma, MPM, is a rare, aggressive tumor, which is increasing worldwide. One radiation therapy, RT, plays an important role in the multimodality management of MPM. Both the symptom relieving and the prophylactic effects of RT and MPM are well known. Two recently, RT has been used within the multimodality treatment of MPM for curative purposes. 3 to 5 unblock resection of the ipsilateral lung, pleura, diaphragm, and pericardium called as extrapleural pneumonectomy, chemotherapy, CT, and local regional RT, trimodality treatment, TMT, has shown promising results in operable patients. 6,7. However, Hemetherical RT is rather challenging in dealing with a large and complex target volume, which involves the entire hemethrax with many radiosensitive critical organs. The conventional techniques that were used previously had substantial technical limitations, of which one of the most important was poor targeting of the pleural bed with efficient doses, especially in larger volume and irregular shaped targets. Moreover, the critical organs lying within the target volume, spinal cord, liver, kidneys, esophagus, heart, and contralateral lung, limited the full course of photon irradiation. Therefore, the photon-electron combination was thought to be the only option for radiating such a volume.8,9. More recently, a highly conformal method of irradiation, intensity modulated radiation therapy, IMRT yielded marked improvements in radiation delivery. Early studies of IMRT showed improved local control according to the highly conformal radiation of the target.10,11 however, on follow-up, IMRT failed due to the high rates of treatment-related fatal pneumonia.12.
Additional reports indicated that IMRT is not superior to three-dimensional conformal radiation therapy, 3D CRT, when comparing the balance between toxicity and tumor control. Crane Buell et al. found that lung dose is an important limitation for IMRT.6 Allen et al. reported that the percentage of lung volume receiving 20 grays and higher doses, V20, is not sufficient for predicting radiation pneumonia in patients with MPM. Strict limitations for the contralateral lung are needed in the radiation planning of MPM. They concluded that the percentage of contralateral lung volume receiving 5 grays and higher doses, V5, and mean lung dose, MLD, must be defined and included in IMRT dose constraints. 12 This study is aimed to compare the dosimetric results of IMRT and 3D CRT and to show that IMRT provides delivering efficient tumoricidal dose while keeping lung dose below tolerance for pneumonitis.